Hello guys, Lewis here and welcome to the next instalment of my bronze and silver inform review series. Today we have the Cameroon and Norwich centre back Sebastian Bassong. I assume he got his inform for scoring what is his third premiership goal in four games, which as a centre back that is not a bad goal to game ratio. However, he did also let in three goals against Swansea this week and with it being a defender's main aim to prevent goals and not score them, this is a bit of a weird decision. Nonetheless, if you are not familiar with Bassong, he is not only one of the best, if not the best, silver defenders in the Premiership, he is also one of the best in the game. So this inform was always going to be expensive. At the minute, he is going comfortably over the 400,000 mark on both consoles. So whether this decreases or increases at the time that you're watching the video is impossible to tell. But it is clear that he is going to be an expensive silver player. Basong has medium defensive and attacking work rates, which is pretty decent for a centre-back. He is also a decent height for a player. And when you combine these factors with some of the stats, you can see why he warrants such a high price tag. Taking his height and adding that with a very respectable 77 jump in and 79 head in, he is going to win you a lot of the balls in the air be it in your own area or attacking in your opponents. Not only this, but he also has a solid 89 strength to improve this even more, meaning winning aerial battles is easier than I've ever felt of any silver player. So with Basong, you certainly have a bit of an aerial presence. His speed is also a very, very attractive feature for his card, with his pace being 77 overall, but this does actually include an 80 sprint speed, which in my opinion is one of the most important stats. He really can hold his own with the pacey attackers that he's going to be facing, especially when you factor in that he's got his solid strength, so they have to pretty much run around him as he can barge them off the ball easily. And he also has 77 slide tackles to go with this. So if any attackers do actually manage to gain a yard of pace or so on him, if you put in a nicely timed tackle, you'll win the ball back with no worries. Leaving the best stat till last, as you'd have been able to see in the bottom right corner of the screen, Infom Basong has an 88 for his standing tackle. This puts him head and shoulders above the other silver players. And not only that, he is up there with the best centre-backs on the game. I think he is actually something like five stats or so higher than the next best silver defender. So that stat is something that is clearly causing his high price tag. As Basong is a defender, the clips you're seeing are mainly showing his ability to win back the ball for the team, shutting out the opposition and winning headers. I didn't see the point in sticking him up front to score some goals for the clips, as if you're buying Basong, you'll be using him as a centre-back. So I thought I'd just show you some of the clips from some of the games that I played with him and showing you the ease in which he wins the ball back for the team. Although he does actually have a 78 shot power, so I'm sure if you fancy a long shot once in a while, every now and then one will go in. When using Basong, if you have a decent corner taker on your team and you have the ability to swing in a decent enough cross, there's a very, very good chance that Basong will get his head to it. Not only just meet the ball, but I've found that he has a pretty decent accuracy when heading. I seem to win a lot of headers with players, but they'll just blaze it over the crossbar or wide of the post. However, Basong seem to get a lot of them on target. The hardest part of this review is certainly saying whether or not that he justifies his high price tag. At 400,000 coins at least, he is certainly a player that's going to take up the majority of most people's budgets. Or, if not, he's still going to be a large investment for others. I think that saying whether or not he justifies it will all depend on who is purchasing him and how many coins you have. Basong will not single-handedly keep a clean sheet for you every game. Goalkeepers are always prone to make mistakes and there's at least three defenders to a team. So if you're going to buy Basong and expect to keep a clean sheet each game, that's not very realistic. But what I will say is that he can pretty much do a better job than every other silver player on the game. His stats are clearly very impressive for a 74 rated player. And in my opinion, you are purchasing the best silver defender on the game. When you consider certain non-informed prices, such as the Pro League centre-back Coyote, who is always selling for up to 80,000 coins for a non-inform. So when you're getting an inform such as Basong, where there's a lot less cards on the market, you can certainly expect to be paying that a little bit more. Another thing that I considered was Premier League silvers are already pretty expensive. So if you are considering buying Basong, then I expect that you already have a fair amount of coins. And I will say that you won't be disappointed when purchasing. His inform certainly doesn't feel flawed and he does feel like an improvement from his non-inform which although he's not in form feels like a bit of a tank already, this one certainly does feel like an improvement. Whether or not that you feel his upgrades warrant a several hundred thousand investment is pretty much up to you. But what I will say is what you have here with Basong is a very, very solid defender and one that really shouldn't be a silver player. So that brings us to the end of the video. As always, 
If you did enjoy it and found it useful, let me know by hitting the like button. I'd like to say a personal thank you to Grego for letting me borrow him for the day. Make sure you subscribe if you want to see more of these in the future. And feel free to drop a comment if you have an opinion on the song and let me know what you think. So, as always, I'll thank you for watching and I shall see you next time. Hey, guys, you're watching Sunday, you're to subscribe to Sunday, Louis. Go on.